emergency vlog today. We have an emergency feature that I need to add today because I realized today is Tuesday, November 21st. What is that? Oh, it's actually not that special of a day, but this week is Thanksgiving. And that means this week is gonna be Black Friday, which is the biggest sale of the year. And at first I was kind of questioning whether or not I should do the whole Black Friday sale, but I figured, dude, we don't have that much revenue. We have very little sales. So we gotta do anything to try to get more paying users. Cause right now, let me just give you a lay of the land of what we have right now in terms of our user base. But before we get into that, if you are new here, let me show you what exactly I'm building. I'm building an app called Nexus, which you can find at nexusresearch.ai, and it is an AI powered note taking solution. Essentially, you can upload a PDF and take notes on it at the same time. But when you're taking notes, you have access to an AI powered research assistant where you can ask any question directly to that document that you are taking notes on so that you can quickly fetch any information that you might need. And then if you wanna ask a question that's not gonna be answered by the document and just a general knowledge question, you can then ask any question to our general AI model to get any additional information into your note taking pad. We're trying to create the smartest note taking solution out there and it's currently been around for two months. We have four paying users at $7 a month. So $28 of monthly recurring revenue. Not bad, we've only really been around for like three weeks a month, wanna get a lot better. So right now we gotta do a huge Black Friday push. I think the plan is to do a big sale on our annual plan. Right now, I think it's $50 a year. So we're gonna cut it down to $30 a year. So right now we're gonna have to do a lot of code changes to number one, reduce the price from $50 to $30. We have to update the UI to make it clear to users that there is a Black Friday sale going on. You know, just cover the landing page, cover like the header bar, the navigation bar saying, we have a 40% off sale, come and subscribe. This is the biggest sale ever, lowest price ever. Yeah, we gotta add that. And then we also just gotta make sure that everything works properly. Um, for me, just to be extra safe, I'm gonna be implementing a feature flag, like a toggle so that I can turn on or turn off the Black Friday sales experience just in case something buggy happens. Cause trust me, I've been there at work or even in Nexus as well, where you launch a feature, it's actually super buggy and then you have to go frantically try to revert an old PR and wait for it to get pushed out. You want to be able to quickly turn something off with the feature flag. So just to be safe, I'm gonna be doing that uh, on Nexus as well. So. That's everything I'm gonna be doing right now. Just gonna be working on getting this big Black Friday push. So let's update the website, decrease the prices, get the new sales and put everything behind a feature flag to make sure we're safe. Like I said, I'm gonna be adding a few front end updates to make sure the user knows about the sale. And that's honestly a pretty easy thing to do. My app is written in Next.js. So to add those changes, it's some pretty simple React code. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm gonna be hiding everything behind a feature flag. And for me, my product of choice to do this type of feature flag hiding is PostHog. PostHog is an open source product operating system is what they like to define themselves. I've been using them for almost every single project I've made in the past and they're a really useful tool because it's basically a bundle of a bunch of useful tools to build better products. It provides tools like analytics tracking, user session recording so that you can see how exactly your users are using your application and then obviously feature flags to hide certain features from appearing just in case something goes bad. So when you look at this screen right here you can see I define a list of certain feature flags. When I first rolled them out I wanted to make sure I had an emergency off switch just in case they were actually broken. So you can see this flag right here to enable Black Friday sale. You, it's actually really simple to use in your Next.js application. You just add this line of code right here and it returns a Boolean of whether or not this feature flag is enabled. And then based off of this Boolean value, I then make my website look a certain way to show the Black Friday sale components or hide them if the Black Friday sale feature flag is turned off. So that's how I build out my front end applications with Next.js on the front end. And then I use post hoc to power all of the user analytics as well as feature flag gating. All right, so I think most of the end work is done. It's funny because like right when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh shoot, I had this idea. We got to do a Black Friday sale. I thought it was going to be like super easy, but actually it turns out there's actually a decent amount of work that has to go into it. Probably ended up coding for like an hour and a half, almost two hours at this point, just to get the UI fixed up get the new Stripe price ID, the new product ID as well, making sure the discounts are applying and also making sure I hide everything behind that feature flag like I showed you earlier. I'm really, really hoping that we can get our first annual paying user. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we currently have around four paying customers, $7 a month each, which comes out to roughly $28 of monthly recurring revenue. As of right now, nobody has purchased our annual subscription. So I'm really, really hoping with this $30 a year subscription, this is a huge 40% discount from our $50 a year really hope that we can get our first annual subscription purchaser. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little stressed out. It's like, if I run this Black Friday sale and nobody still purchases at that low of a price point, that's kind of a bad signal. That's kind of indicating that the product is not 
good enough for somebody to be even willing to pay 30 bucks a year, which is super cheap. That's $2 and 50 cents a month. Fingers crossed. I'm going to keep you guys updated how the Black Friday pricing goes. We got today's social media done. Got to think and brainstorm about other marketing efforts moving forward as well throughout the week leading up to the 26th. We love a good surprise in a vlog where I didn't even think about Black Friday, woke up, hit with inspiration. Oh shit, we got to do a Black Friday sale. So Fingers crossed it goes well. Share it with your friends. Let them know about this amazing product of Nexus. Hopefully somebody subscribes to the annual purchase plan. And I'll keep you guys updated next week after November 26th when the sale ends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.